Dr. Repto, you were you were, uh, you you ran the CDC and you were on the coronavirus task force. Is that right? Correct. That was formed on January 29th, 2020. Is that right? Correct. Two days later, Dr. Fauci gets an email from Dr. Anderson, which says what? Virus looks engineered. Virus not consistent with evolutionary theory. Is that accurate? That's my understanding. Next, did he share that email with you, by the way, Dr. Redfield? No. Next day, February 1st, Dr. Gary sends Dr. Fauci another email. That email says, I don't know how this happens in nature, but it would be easy to do in a lab. Three days later, Dr. Anderson and Dr. Gary, who told us it came from a lab and emails to Dr. Fauci that Dr. Fauci wouldn't let Dr. Redfield see. Three days later, they changed their position 180 degrees. Question is why? Why would they change their position, Mr. Wade? Yes, Dr. Anderson and Dr. Gary were awarded a $9 million grant for So the there's reason. 9 million reasons why they changed their mind. Oh no. U.S. tax dollars went to a lab in China, a lab that was not up to code, a lab that was doing gain-of-function research, and that's where this thing most definitely came from. And Dr. Fauci had to prove, no, no, he can't have that news getting out. Three years ago, if you thought it came from a lab, if you raised that, you were called a nut job, you got censored on Twitter, you were blacklisted on Twitter, you were even called a crackpot by the very scientist who in late January sent emails to Dr. Fauci and said it came from a lab. They called you crackpot. Is that right, Dr. Redfield? I think the most upsetting thing to me was the uh, Baltimore Sun calling me a racist, racist. As I said, this came from a Wuhan lab.